facility that is the MSF rate and the bank rate at 6.75%. The MPC also decided by a majority of five out of six members to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation progressively aligns with the target while supporting growth. Let me emphasize that the decision to pause on the repo rate is for this meeting only. I would now like to explain the MPC's rationale for these decisions on the policy rate and the stance. While the recent high frequency indicators suggest some improvement in global economic activity, the outlook is now tempered by additional downside risks from financial stability concerns. Headline inflation is moderating but remains well above the target targets of central banks. These developments have led to heightened volatility in global financial markets as reflected in sizable two-way movements in bond yields. Fall in equity markets and the US dollar shedding its gains from its peak of September 2022. Amidst this volatility, the banking and non-banking financial service sectors in India remain healthy and financial markets have evolved in an orderly manner. Economic activity remains resilient and real GDP growth is expected to have been 7% in 22-23. Consumer price inflation, however, has increased since December 2022, driven by price pressures on cereals, milk and fruits, Core inflation remains elevated. Looking ahead, headline inflation is projected to moderate in 2023-24. The monetary policy actions taken since May 2022 are still working through the system. Accordingly, the MPC decided to keep the policy rate unchanged to assess the progress made so far while closely monitoring and evolving the inflation outlook. The MPC will not hesitate to take further action as may be required in its future meetings. To recapitulate the actions taken so far, we have increased the policy repo rate cumulatively by 250 basis points in the last 11 months starting May 22. This was preceded by introduction of the standing facility, standing deposit facility, that is the SDF, at a rate 40 basis points higher than the fixed rate reverse repo. Thus, the effective rate hike since April last year has been 290 basis points, 290 basis points. These increases have been fully transmitted to the overnight weighted average call money rate, that is WACR, the operating target of monetary policy, which has gone up from daily average of 3.32% in March 22 to 6.52% in March 2023. It is now necessary to evaluate the cumulative impact of these rate hikes. Under these circumstances, we have to be extremely prudent in our actions. We have always been very watchful and have adopted a calibrated and balanced approach and will continue to do so. When we started the rate cut cycle in February 2019, in February 2019 to provide support to growth, the CPI inflation was around 2% and the policy repo rate was 6.5%. Now, the policy rate is 6.5%, but inflow inflation is 6.4% as per the February reading. Overall, inflation is above the target, and given its current level, the present policy rate can still be regarded as accommodative. Hence, the MPC decided to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation. What I now propose to do is to just briefly state about the growth and the inflation scenarios, and I will then try and sum up the broad approach 
which the monetary policy has a committee has taken and i think that will give even greater clarity of what the monetary policy committee is doing so let me first take up growth as stated earlier india's real gross domestic product that is gdp is expected to have recorded a growth of 7% in 2022-23 hence economic activity remains resilient on the supply side rabi food grains production is estimated to increase by 6.2% in 2022-23 pmi manufacturing remained robust at 56.4 in march recording expansion for 21 consecutive months due to favorable domestic demand service sector activity exhibited buoyancy pmi services remained in expansion zone at 57.8 in march driven by favorable demand conditions and new business gains aggregate demand conditions were resilient in q4 of 2223 even as private consumption showed some signs of slowdown urban demand indicators like passenger vehicle sales and credit card spending registered robust growth in february while consumer durables contracted in january rural demand indicators such as consumer non durables tractor and two wheeler sales registered healthy growth investment activity exhibited buoyancy on the bank of government's thrust on infrastructure spending high capacity utilization and revival in corporate investment in certain key sectors non food bank credit rose by 15.4% year on year as on march 24th 2023 the total flow of resources to the commercial sector has increased by 26 lakh crore during 2022-23 as against 19 lakh crore a year ago merchandise exports 